What I consider a breakout season is elevating your game to all-star caliber, not just improvement from last year. But these six NBA players I'm predicting will have an Oladipo or Butler type breakthrough. Currently, we definitely don't take their names seriously, but we'll consider teams extremely lucky to have them by the end of the 2019 season. And it's put back in! De'Aaron Fox with 3.3 to play! Today's shout-out goes to Lane Graham. A ton of great answers last video. Keep them coming, but when I asked who will have the better career, Brown or Tatum, Lane took the mental side of things into account, which is obviously a massive factor in basketball. Says Tatum will also be great. This was a very tough question, to be honest. For next vid shout out, stay tuned for today's question. Leave your take. I pick my favorite answer. Paired up with DeRozan in the backcourt, DeJounte Murray should become his new partner in crime. DeMar had a lot to do with Lowry breaking through once he arrived in Toronto, and Murray's game should be able to elevate in the same way. DeRozan's the main focus for the opposing defense every single night. Murray's three-pointers, which he struggled with last season, will be uncontested a hell of a lot more in 2018-19. There's video of him this summer working on his threes. Defensively, though, is where I really think we'll see Murray make a name for himself. Last year, he was ranked first among all guards in defensive rating. Combine this ability with the improved jumper, his second year as the Spurs starter, and Murray is primed for an all-star breakthrough. The Spurs roster looks scary if this happens. There is no reason for Brandon Ingram, the second pick in the 2016 NBA Draft who is already entering his third season, not to have an all-star year. Kobe's improvement from his first year to his second year looks similar to Ingram's, not to say these two are similar players, but that's definitely some hope for Laker fans. The third season was really when Kobe got his all-star status though. Ingram, I'm predicting, will follow Kobe's pathway yet again. Unlike DeJounte Murray, who I just mentioned, his three-pointer improved from year one to two. Like Murray, there's a new player on his team who's the defense's main focus. Ingram was that for the Lakers last year, and he was efficient in that role and fulfilled it for such a young player. Now becoming the second option under Braun, of course there's a ton of pressure that comes with that, but Ingram has shown enough flashes of all-star potential and has the dimensions to claim top-tier status in the NBA. If only Paul George joined LA as well. A guard with freakish athleticism generating poster dunk time and time again. Which bull guard does this remind you of? Sorry, which bull point guard does this remind you of? Derek's few seasons of utter dominance is a hard thing to live up to, but Levine's scoring has a chance to be as impressive. After tearing his ACL in February of 2017, last season in his return, he showed that his elevation is still there. Two inches taller than Rose, Zach Levine can shoot over almost any point guard in basketball. His length helps him defensively, and his long steps help him get up the court in a split second. His body seems to be in prime shape this offseason. After a year and a half has passed since the ACL injury, he dropped 50 in Seattle's crossover pro league just a few weeks ago, pulling off dunks like this. This Chicago Bull point guard has recovered seamlessly from the ACL tear, something we couldn't say about D. Rose, which is of course a tragedy. The Brooklyn Nets are looking for literally any one of their young guys to take over the franchise, as they continue to be screwed by the trade all the way back in 2013 with the Celtics, where they gave up all their draft picks for the decade. Karis LeVert is my choice to become the leader of this franchise. In 2019, the Nets have their own first round pick for the first time in six years, but Karis LeVert will have something to say about them tanking for that pick. Last season, his playmaking improved, and for a shooting guard, it was an impressive 4.2 assists he averaged. Experience is key in the NBA, and guys at Levert's size, with his athletic ability, who've shown respectable shooting numbers, thrive as they continue to gain it. He reminds me of a young DeRozan, but with a long-range shot instead of mid-range ability. The minutes will be tough to come by at first, as Lynn and Russell should come back and fill time at the guard spots, but this doesn't mean we can't see Levert eventually become a starter while breaking out from the bench. Last year's rookie class was fun to watch, to say the very least. De'Aaron Fox may not have been on Ben Simmons or Donovan Mitchell's level, but with a year of pro experience under his belt, Fox is ready to make the Sacramento Kings legit again. Marvin Bagley is someone I don't love as a prospect, but Fox's quickness and constant penetration of the defense will open up space for the rookie. 
before he got hurt in this year's Summer League, De'Aaron dominated the action, showing why he was the fifth pick in 2017. His attitude and overall persona is the opposite of the Last King superstar. He was a great bet for the organization in that sense. On the court, he made multiple game-winning plays as a rookie while showing every hint of what you would look for in a future star. This guy reminds me of Mike Conley mixed with Russell Westbrook. I think Sacramento is about to witness something very special this season. They have a ton of young talent surrounding De'Aaron. The Kings should be in the playoff race this year. Last year, it was Nikola Jokic making a name for himself in Denver. Murray showed improvement from his first year to his second, but this season is where he turns into a superstar for Denver, something the franchise hasn't witnessed since Melo was on the squad. Similarly to Melo, Jamal Murray hasn't shown to be much of a defender. Luckily for him, you can be a top-notch player in this league without being a good defender, but how do you do that? You become a generational game-changing scorer who makes defenders look silly for even trying. It was an improvement in every statistical category for Jamal in his sophomore year. Expect the minutes to go up even more in his third. At the very least, I expect him to average 23 points a game. With Jokic, Millsap, young three-point shooter Gary Harris, who knows if Porter Jr. plays this year. But regardless, the Nuggets look like a future powerhouse, and there's no one better to lead them than a versatile, deadly scorer than Jamal Murray. Today's question is, who are your five breakout players? Feel free to agree with me on my list or bring a whole other group of players to the table. If you're new, subscribe for Hoops Talk all summer long. Leave a thumbs up if you want more list-type videos. Thanks a ton for watching.